Okay, um, making this new, um, this kind of like this video on what I've been working on the uh, past, like, I don't know, two or three months, and, um, changed a little bit of how this guy works. Well, I mean, I, this is a new character, but I, um, also changed animations, and, um, I also, for just now, I took out the, um, like parkour kind of thing, uh, and um, I also fixed up a little bit of the speed I get. Like I made it less popping. Like the player won't pop up and make as many like glitchy kind of like movements and stuff. And uh, these animations are pretty bad, but I mean they're, they're free. And um, the uh, I don't have any walk like jumping animations with this guy. So kind of just. Okay, and then um, I also added this, an inventory. I thought there's more, but I guess this is it. But um, <laughs> and then you can um, press the just for now. You can press P and uh, add these things. I'm pressing P right now, and you see I can't. It's not adding anymore. That's because I reached the limit of the inventory. Uh, there's five in here. Each of these weighs 20 pounds, and there's a 100 pounds total thingy right here, like total in this. And you can drop this thing, and drop it, you can equip it, alright, and uh, it has animations and stuff, and it's uh, inverse kinematics controlled. Oh, uh, and this, this, like, state does have jumping animations, you can, like, change how the animation state works, like, these are different animation layers. I like how these animations look better, but they still don't look that great. I can change, like if the play, like I hold, if I'm I'm holding F right now, and that's just making the player look and uh, not look where I'm looking, like with the com uh, camera. So if you wanna screw with people, you can. And uh, I'm gonna make like plans. I'm gonna make um, you know shooting, obviously. I'm gonna make a health system. I'm gonna make a networking system, and I'm gonna make an AI like cover system. I'm gonna also just make a cover system for the player. And I'm going to finish the parkour system. I mean, that's not all going to be in the next update. That's going to be like the end goal of this whole project. Because I want to make basically kind of like a H1Z1 or Daisy kind of st like structure or well, thing. But oh no, not not that. No, that's not what it's called. I forgot. Um, it's I was trying to make a kind of a battle royale, like specifically, like for battle royale. Although I don't think I need AIs for that. So you know, no, screw the AI idea. So I'm just going to make a kind of a parkour system, a, a better, I mean like finish the guns, because you can't shoot right now, that's not obvious, <laughs> but yeah you can't shoot right now, uh, I'm going to add that in, I'm going to add gun, like aiming, I'm going to add, um, I don't know if I'll do first person, just t tell me if you want first, like if first person would be cool, I mean I could do it, it's just I don't want to, be, well I mean I want to do it if you want to do it, but I don't, I'm not looking forward to it, because I would have to make different animations and stuff, but I will do it. If you think it's a good idea, I have a bird. I also have a bird. That's what it was. That's why everything feels like it feels like I did a lot more than just this. Just this because I have a bird now, and that happened a while ago. Now I can have all these like I have these um, uh, categories. I'm gonna put crap in them, like allow you to you know, make stuff. But the, you can customize the amount of categories, you can customize their names, you can customize customize their functionality, like this one is a predetermined category, you can't not have all, the all category. I'm gonna add in probably a search bar right up here and maybe filter, like filter by weight, filter by total weight, like combined weight, because you can stack these items, let me actually show you that. I have a, this is a pretty flexible system, so let me show you what that looks like, so. so I go to prefab item database and I go right here, this is the Russian AR thing is what it's called. Uh, this is the ID, the category rifle, uh, the description gun, which is you know stupid. I can put in um, gun made by Rus Russians, modern, modern Russians, <laughs> modern Russians, modern Russians. There we go. That's the screw. Oh my gosh, right. If I can spell it, Russian. I'm dyslexic, so I suck at spelling. I suck at everything else. But it's stackable. And look at is also something that's pretty interesting. Let me show you this. Uh, you can see this weight is 20. My character right here, inventory, 
these are the IK hand thingies. This is a, I created this script that's not an a not a not a component, and you can create so you can have this inventory script right here, and you have to attach the database. You can title this inventory, and that's the title of the um thing. That's the title of the. Let me show you. I'm sure I'll call it um, player inventory. You can this right here is the capacity, so I'm gonna put 120, so I can put six in there. Inventory items. I I I'm gonna make this so you can't edit this in the uh, when like in this in the I'm, I might either figure out a way to make it so you can edit it without creating an error. Or I'll make it so you can't even touch this thing in the inspector because it'll create an error. Like when you try to run the thing, it won't create an error if you do it, but it will not correctly have. It won't have the correct capacity. I mean, like current capacity. Like if I added one in here, index. This is the index in this array, so it's it would be zero. But I can change this to three, and it would still look for this. But yeah, I don't want to. And um. So it would go to index and the count I would add like two or something. The data I'm gonna figure out a way to like send like hold the data inside of item stacks in your inventory and that way so you can like hold the um, magazine count or something in a in a gun and send it to the inventory so you can separate guns based on that or some or you know, stuff like that or you can um, uh, say something like uh, let me think like the level of an item of a specific item or you can even change like the name of the item with this and this will just be will be sent to the item class so you can interpret how it's all going to work out and stuff based on the item that it is it, it's just kind of like ver you can store variables inside of this string it's kind of like just it should be it could be just an object that stores all the variables you want or whatever I might actually do that. I don't know. I haven't done that. I, you know, I'm gonna definitely do that. I'm gonna change this rather into a string into an object, so I can, or like a list of objects, so I can hold different information. Well, oh, I don't really know. It would be kind of hard to save it. Hmm. I think I might just keep it like this. Okay. This window size is the size of the window, obviously, and um, this right here. I recreated a third-person controller right here. This is it's not that complicated. It's just the these are the components, the animation, animation acceleration, this is the smoothing of the animation, the spine follow speed, this is how quickly the player's spine change moves up and down, the layer change speed, this is how quickly it moves from holding a gun to the idle, like the normal, like, you know, thing. This is the, um, this, this is just all the camera stuff, and this is the movement speed. The turn speed is how fast he rotates, walk speed is how far, well, fast he walks, obviously, run speed, you know. Well, you can get all this stuff. Acceleration is how quickly it changes velocity. Uh, jump height, that's just kind of like, it doesn't really do exactly, it's just a force. It's not actually like a perfect number that you jump three high blocks because I'm too stupid to figure out how that would work. Stick to ground force, this is to keep you from like, if you're running really fast on a, um, on a hill and you run forward, it's going to send you this way and so um, that's going to make it so that you you fall, you keep jumping off this like you keep jumping and then you land and jump again and stuff and I use this when you're on the ground to keep him from keep him touching the floor and then when he jumps he just ignores that so yeah when he's in air this is not happening forcing him down onto the ground gravity multiplies all this default bounds and crouching bounds these are two different structs well, these are both the same struct, but they are forced. Like I can reassign these things. This is kind of like these these settings for this, and so I can default bounds. This is what it's normally at. This is like it's, um, and this you send this into the IK leg controller. You see right here, collision. It'll have collision bounds, and you can change this in at runtime. All these settings. Uh, this is this is basically like the controller ranges and stuff like this, the center, the radius, the, well you can't change the radius, but you can change the height, all that type of stuff. And um, because the the IK leg controller needs to have complete control over the size of this, and so it needs to know your desired size for this, and so that's how you send the default bounds and then the crouching bounds, because I can, when you crouch, uh, this thing actually goes to get smaller. So, yeah, okay, um, 
Yeah, that's, that's just kind of a brief overview of how everything works. But, oh wait, no, there's another thing. Um, this, this item, the, the info, there's the name, the ID of the item. This, this is kind of like how you would use it. This would be like, you can assign this to like, say 10, because you like to remember 10 for Russian AR or something. But the script turns this ID from an ID into an index in this array. And so it runs faster, because you don't want to keep searching up for the ID of this thing. The category is one of these, like you can see right here, categories. I can change this to, I'm going to put this in food, because I'm a strange person. Now, uh, this description shows up at the bottom, like a little box thingy. The weight is, uh, you know, the weight of the item, obviously. The amount, the amount of weight that it takes up inside of your inventory look at it determines if your player should be looking the direction your camera is looking so like right here I can actually cover this let's do this see right here now if I add this item let me go pistols rifle oh this is gonna look really weird I just forgot about that but I can change this watch okay see oh yeah it's gonna be in food right yeah food okay sweet now, also you can see it stacking, so I can add another one, add another one, and there's six of them in here. I can drop one. Oh, fudge. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's because it dropped the stack, not because it, uh, I can make it so it drops one. But I'll make it, I'll make it so it has two options right here, one that says drop and drop all. I'll do that, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Now, um, you see that it doesn't change the, it doesn't make him look at it. It looks really stupid, though. I'm going to change that, obviously. Now, um... I don't know if, if I changed. Yeah, sweet. It changes instantly. Hilarious. I didn't know that. Well, I mean, I didn't. Uh, I mean, I knew that, obviously. Oh, so it says gun made by modern Russians. <laughs> That's racist. Okay. Now, um, the stackable thingy, it changes that, and then I can add another one, and it'll probably maybe work. Uh, yeah, okay, sweet. Sweet, it works. So now I can add six of them. And if I do stackable, it will have new stacks of them. And I, I can, if I drop this one, and I add another one, P, it'll start adding it to the list. Yeah, so, it, it, it's not, you know, I'm, I didn't intend you to be changing these values around at runtime, so, I mean, I'm not going to make it so it keeps them all stacking, because there should be no way to create duplicate items that should be stacked together in the game. Like, if you use the right methods and stuff, there should be no way. Okay, now then, another thing is, right here, there's the Russian AR item, and then there's Russian AR pickup. The item right here has its own item script, and it has the animator. This is, like, what animates the walking, I mean, the walking animation, the running animation, the, I think that's all, the idle, there we go. And then these are the IK targets. This is, you can animate these targets, obviously, to make it, and, like, reload or something like that. And uh, I'm going to make it so you can like override this script and then I'm going to make a gun script that uh, shoots out the barrel and st stuff like that. So it's like an item, like this is what happens when it's in your hand. This is the item that happens when it's in your hand, but then the item pickup is, you, you won't ever override it. There's no real reason to override it because it's none of, nothing's going to happen. And it's more of like, it should be a struct kind of thing that you attach to an item. It's just the data that you attach to an item. Frickin' it's taking so long. Okay, this is stupid. Oh, okay, here we go, finally. See, it's just, it's, oh, you also, when you're instantiating, you're also going to call this, so you know the controller that you're in, like that you're being used, like that's using you. I don't know, using this item. And you know the info index which is the, basically gives you the ID, but it, the info index should be this right here, should be the index in this array that the item that you're currently as is, so you can have multiple items with different effects based on their indexes, that's pretty interesting, okay, and um, uh, the item pickup, where is this? You can see right here if I go to Russian AR and then I go to pick up. This is what hap what drops. So it has a box glider, a rigid body, and an item pickup. And this uh, has an item database. So this is the item that it's in. And then this in, uh, in ID, and then it has an item stack. And the item stack has um, 
has a index, a count, and then a data. This is like so you can have ammo stored in a gun that's on the ground or something like that. Or like a changed name of a gun, like making a custom name or something like that. You'd have to interpret this data however you want to, but um, I'm going to work on that. The ID, is if it's negative 1, then you go by index. If it's not negative 1, so say I put 0, then it goes by the ID. It looks for the index of this ID. But if, and it, it ignores anything that's in there, anything can be in there. But if it's negative one and you want to, and you know the index, which would be faster, like that's why I have these two options. If you know the index, it would be faster to figure out what item it is. It wouldn't be that much faster. It, it depends on how many items you would have. If you had 10,000 items, it would be much faster knowing the index of the item, but it would probably be easier for you to know the ID than the index of the item, so you could put that in here. Like, say you wanted 10, like the, 10, the ID of 10. And the so you can put this. You have to put this at negative one if you wanted to use the index. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. And the count you're definitely gonna want that at one. Now I can run this and actually show you how it looks in the game. So I can I uh, added an item already. Okay, now I, I drop this. Okay, that one had three on it. I don't know how or why, but okay, it dropped the pickup item. Now it says three. It has an ID of negative one and it index is zero. That's not actually by default, that's how I made it so when you instantiate it, it sets all that stuff up. So if I go right here to prefab item database and I change this to an ID of 10. And I don't know why it's happening. Okay, that was stupid, I just wasted a ton of time. Okay, well, just ignore that. And an ID of 0. I know why it's happening, it's because I'm adding the item by the index, not by the ID. So if I'm always adding the 0 index item. So I can actually like make this a Russian... I don't know, something, or just AR, I could call it, and it would drop an AR rather than a Russian AR or whatever. Okay, let me delete this now. Delete array element. Okay, sweet. Oh, I'm gonna also make this a rifle again. Rifle. Okay, that's what I've been working.